I'm a little bit mad about this one because uh, I actually really like it. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. So I recently made two videos, ranking and roasting It Girl brands. And in those videos, I had ranked brands that I've never personally tried before, but I still had an opinion about them. But I got a couple comments, you know, calling me out, saying, how can you rank a brand that you've never tried before? You don't know the quality. So you know what? I said, fine, you win. I will try the It Girl brands. So I have six different It Girl brands that I'm going to be trying today. All these pieces were purchased secondhand, either on Poshmark, Depop, ThreadUp, or the actual thrift store. And we're gonna see if these brands are worth the hype or overrated or if my ranking has changed now that I have tried them. As I am trying the pieces, I am going to, I think, rank them out of five. Five out of five being that I would 100% purchase from the brand because the piece is so good like it's worth the hype it's worth the price four out of five would be that i would really only buy from the brand if it was second hand so obviously not buying from the brand but buying the brand second hand but i would be willing to still pay a higher price and i would go out of my way to try to find you know pieces from this brand on like depop or poshmark three out of five would be that i would only feel like good buying this brand if it was quite discounted on like depop or poshmark or thread up i would not purchase it anywhere close to what the full price would probably be and then two out of five would be I would only feel good if I bought this at the actual thrift store and it was like ten dollars one out of five would be I think this brand is overrated and I would really like not seek out to find pieces from this brand at all also I want to make note that I'm not gonna like put in sustainability and like ethical factors. I'm really just focusing on the piece. So if I do say a five out of five, I don't know if I will. I mean, maybe I will. I haven't tried any of these pieces yet, but if I say like, yes, I would feel okay like purchasing this new, it doesn't mean necessarily I would purchase a new for the brand with like sustainability ethical factors. I feel like it can get a little messy with that. So we're taking that out of the equation. I am first gonna start out with Aritzia. And so many people commented how much they love Aritzia and how it's 100% worth it, that the quality is amazing. Since filming that first ranking It Girl brand, I have been inside of a Aritzia for the very first time when I went to Canada and I definitely get the hype. I get the hype. The quality of some pieces I feel like is good, although I found some other pieces not being great quality. So I think it's kind of a hit or miss depending on the pieces. Obviously again, from somebody that like doesn't necessarily like buy from them, I decided what is the best thing to try from Aritzia that gives it girl. And of course, it has to be the Wilfred Molina vegan leather pants. And I mean, these were so just hyped up in 2019, 2020. I felt like everyone had these pants and I contemplated buying them like for such a long time. I think they are originally 148 dollars so these are these are some pricey pants having them in front of me they feel like they are from pretty little thing i'm just i i'm just gonna say it they are vegan leather which vegan leather most of the time is made out of plastic so it makes sense i got them on thread up and these were 52 dollars 99 so even though it's second hand it is still quite pricey. Again, the original being $148, $100 less, which is great. But just based on the way that it feels in my hand, I feel like there's nothing that special about them. So let's try them on. Let's see. Maybe, maybe I'm totally wrong. Um, honestly, they're okay. Like truly, I mean, I think I'm just gonna say it. I think the Molina vegan leather pant is very overrated. I just maybe thought that they were gonna be a little bit thicker and just maybe the thinness is what makes them feel a little bit cheaper. The waist is a little bit too loose on me and then it kind of like bunches in the crotch area. The length of it though is amazing, I gotta say. Now, I feel like leather pants and vegan leather pants, like I said, were quite popular and I used to just like want them so much, but then 
I've gotten some other ones that were secondhand still, but like fast fashion secondhand, and they just didn't really integrate into my wardrobe, but I thought, oh, it's because of the quality. Like they just were not that good. And I just don't think I'm a leather pant type of person. I The idea of them sounds amazing, but just with my personal style, I really feel like it doesn't work. Let me get closer so you can hear. That is loud. Maybe if they were real leather, they would also make a noise, but like it, it is loud. A three out of five, definitely a three out of five. I don't even feel like are worth, I, how much were they? Like $50? Feel like they're worth 20. I'm really hoping this one is actually worth the hype because it is the most expensive piece that I bought for this video, which is originally from the ultimate like swimsuit it girl, Frankie's bikinis. I see their stuff everywhere and I gotta I gotta say they have beautiful prints beautiful patterns but I'm like is it actually worth the prices now I've been looking at this swimsuit for over a year now it was in collaboration with Gigi Hadid a year ago and the print of the swimsuits that she had done is absolutely gorgeous. I love this type of pattern. And since then, I've been trying to find it secondhand and truly I, I had been finding absolutely nothing. When I decided to, you know, think about making this video, I was like, you know what? Frankie's bikinis is an it girl. I ranked them. I want to see if the quality is good. And I also really, really want this swimsuit. So I went on my search again and I was able to find the swimsuit on Poshmark, this beautiful one piece swimsuit. It was $130. Now, originally, I'm pretty sure the swimsuit was $185 and it's completely sold out. You can't buy it anymore. Also, sizing wise, I'm very curious about because in swimsuits, specifically with the chest, I'm usually a small, but all the smalls were like over $200. And with one pieces, because I am tall, I feel they may work better for me and i just really wanted the swimsuit to work out so i ended up going for the medium and just looking at it and the feeling it feels like a nice soft swimsuit there's kind of not too much to say about it the butt does look kind of kind of yeah not that much coverage i am going to base this on if i had spent 185 dollars on this uh if it would be worth it or not i honestly think this is the most beautiful swimsuit i have ever worn in my life and it fits perfect even though it's a medium and again i was kind of scared about the straps if like they would fall off but they feel like they would stay the only thing i will say is the chest area is a little bit odd of i'm not sure if my like chest is supposed to go into this little like ruching area but it's kind of small maybe if it was in a size small my like chest would fill it out a little bit more but i love this swimsuit i love this swimsuit so much like i paid 130 dollars and like i think it is totally worth it the only thing that i didn't notice maybe it's because it's a one piece i just didn't like think about this is it is very cheeky like my butt my butt is out and here's the thing when it comes to swimsuits it's not that i'm super modest and like the styles and fits that i wear but I do like a little bit more coverage um, on the butt. And so this is gonna be something I'm gonna have to get used to. I'm gonna have to get comfortable. It's very outside of my comfort zone. It's just so interesting because like it's a one piece, but then like, I just, yeah, I'm just not used to my butt being out this much. The open back is so cute and just the sizing fits so phenomenal on me. I don't know if a small would have fit even better, but I'm completely happy with the medium. Even this like back portion where there is fabric, it, it doesn't bunch like the Lisa Says Goss swimsuit. If you remember in that video, it was a size small, but like the one piece still had gapping of fabric in different areas. Also, it's it feels like way better quality. Like this feels so much more like buttery, like swimsuit material than the Lisa Says Goss one. And they're very similar in prices. Obviously, again, not keeping sustainability and ethical factors in the picture. I don't want to give them a five out of five, 
but I feel like I have to just if I'm just looking at this piece and the pattern. I mean, it is kind of like made for me. This is this is my favorite pattern and color. So that's obviously going to sway my opinion. I don't know if I will like buy something new from Frankie's Bikinis, if I'm going to be honest. I would probably still favor getting it secondhand, but if I got this piece new, I would be 100% happy with it. This next brand, I really didn't get any comments about when I talked about it, but when I saw this piece again at Crossroads, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a brand that I I'm pretty sure I ranked kind of high up just because of the aesthetic and the vibe. And I've seen, you know, Devin Lee Carlson wear their stuff. And actually a lot of people wear their stuff. And it's just so in line with me and just, yeah, the aesthetics of it. It is Heaven by Marc Jacobs. And this is the teddy bear t-shirt. I have been also contemplating getting one of these on Depop. And so again, when I saw it in person, I was like, I have to get this. Now, these tops usually sell for about $75. Yeah, this exact one that I have is $75. Now, even though it was secondhand, it was $55. And even when I picked it up, I was excited about it being Heaven by Marc Jacobs. But in my, in my stomach, I was like, oh, $55. I'm like holding it up, I'm feeling it. And I'm like, I feel like even the feeling of it really isn't worth the $55. But I, keeping an open mind, I'm going to put this on and see if I do think it's worth it or not. I hope so because $55, that's a lot that I spent on just a t-shirt. <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna be surprised about this, but uh, this was a regret. It's just, it's okay. I mean, it's a t-shirt. I have some t-shirts that are really amazing that I did spend more money on, like $50 or more, that I do feel like are worth it. This one is not. I mean, it's the name. It is 100% the name. I'm personally not a super like designer in love Person, especially for these more like bigger brands like Marc Jacobs and you know for some pieces I absolutely love but especially this it, it really it really is not worth it and most of the pieces that they even sell are t-shirts so I feel like even more so I like wanted to try it just because that's mainly what they sell and even just the fit of it it's a large but it's 100% cotton so I mean the material is at least cotton but it just fits kind of odd like i would almost say it fits like a medium the only thing that's making it large is having it be longer i don't think the color is doing anything for me as well which i knew getting it but i still want to try it i usually am not super like oh this color 100 is not me but this, even though I love pastels, there's something about this color that is truly not working on me. I thought with then putting it on, I like the color would work and it was just in my head, but this is just, it's not, it's not worth it. I think I'm gonna give this a two out of five. I would really only feel good about getting this if it was $15 at the thrift store. And even that $15 is expensive at the thrift store. But for this, I'd be like, okay, it's a name brand. I get it. I have technically bought from Reformation before, but I really wanted to feature them in this video because I got so many comments of people saying that Reformation isn't worth it, but then also people saying it is worth it. At least for myself, the pieces I have tried from Reformation have been pretty good quality, even the ones that I've gotten secondhand. I only own, I realized, one piece from Reformation that I got in 2020, and it's just like a green tank top. Their pieces are so beautiful to me. Like, I cannot deny it is so aligned with my personal style, but I mean, the prices are quite pricey. I find that the pieces also shrink very easily and sizing can be all over the place. So I ended up finding this piece on ThreadUp. It was $40.99, definitely a better price than I think originally it was $65 or $68. This one is made out of pencil Lysol. And I'm pretty sure from what I've looked at, it's definitely a better quality material. Even with this being secondhand, it's in pretty good condition. It just looks like this. It is in a medium, which I will say I'm usually a small in tops. And so I'm hoping this 
will work out, especially because it's a V-neck. So I don't know. It has a tie in the back. So fingers crossed. So the top doesn't fit. The like under here, it's too loose and I would definitely need a small. I'm trying to like not have that cloud my judgment and try to be like, okay, if it did fit, what would I think of it? I actually do kind of like the top if it did fit. So if I had to just pin these sides together, and I think I could do that myself with my sewing machine, but I'm also like, I don't want to ruin the top. That's my biggest issue when it comes to things that even if it's a quick, like little resize thing, I'm just really scared I'm going to mess up the top and then nobody will want it and it will go to the landfill instead of it just going to somebody who it's their size. But I already have the piece. So let me know what you think. I, I think I will even dock points for the fact that Specifically, Reformation, I think you have to try on the items for the sizing because it is all over the place, depending on the piece, depending on the material. A lot of Reformation stores don't have all sizes, so that already is difficult to figure out if the item is going to work or not. And even number two, the pieces that they do have in store, there aren't that much. And so you end up potentially, especially if you buy it new from Reformation, you're spending all that money, the piece comes, it doesn't fit, you now have to return it, then buy that piece again in a different size. What if that also still doesn't work and like the cut just didn't work on you? Again, this is an obvious mistake on my part, but just from the other pieces that I've tried from them and from what I've seen of other people trying Reformation, it just to verify that it's all going to work usually you have to try on the piece i'm gonna say a three out of five honestly for reformation because there have been pieces that i'm like okay i think this would actually fit me perfectly and maybe i wouldn't have to try it on but it's still like a hundred dollars and i've still not purchased those items like i'd rather it be heavily discounted for me to get like a reformation piece a brand that i'm pretty sure i ranked quite high up in the original video is for Love and Lemons. And I cannot deny their stuff looks absolutely beautiful, but I have tried a For Love and Lemons piece before and it just was not great quality. It was secondhand, a friend had given it to me and it just like was, I don't know. In that moment, I was like, oh, th this is not worth the hype, but I do have rose colored glasses just because their pieces on their website is so beautiful. I ended up getting this piece from Crossroads, which I know Crossroads isn't necessarily a thrift store. They buy and sell, you know, secondhand pieces. Typically I did try this on, but I'm not gonna give my thoughts until I try it on for this video. But I had seen this dress about three weeks ago and I ended up actually getting it about a week ago. So it was in Crossroads for quite a long time. And the thing that got me was the pattern. The pattern is very, very beautiful. I feel like it has all of the elements that would make me love a piece like this. It was $47.50 secondhand. Now I do want to pay attention to the materials that are used in these pieces because I feel like that greatly affects if the item is honestly worth Worth it and this is 92% polyester yeah wow I didn't even realize I thought it was satin huh I will say it doesn't feel super super cheap but it does feel a little bit like it could be from Shein like I said I had tried this on before so I already knew what it was gonna fit like but that was a week ago. I haven't tried it on again since. Honestly, like it's a cute dress. Like the pattern is cute. I, it fits me very nice. The puff sleeves, obviously I absolutely love. But if you told me this was from Forever 21, just with a feeling, I would 100% believe you and be like, yeah, it was probably $20. And this was probably $100 or more new. I would only buy For Love and Lemons if it was quite discounted or if it was made not with polyester. Maybe there are other items that are made with like cotton or satin or something feel way better and more luxurious. They're probably more expensive, which makes sense. But for this dress, just with the feeling and all of that, even though it's cute, it's not blowing me away or anything. If anything, I feel like it has made me think less of, of Poor Love and Lemons. Even though all these brands were it girl brands, 
this particular one I feel is the ultimate like a hundred percent it girl brand i see people having like realization par collections of pieces anyone that i've seen talk about realization par has talked about the quality and how it is a hundred percent worth the price and everything and so i knew i had to finally give it a go i'm pretty sure i gave them quite a low rating when i had done my video just because a lot of their dresses that are very like viral and very trendy are see-through they do have a thing on their website where it'll say like how see-through or how the opacity is so you can know before you buy it but with them being over two hundred dollars i don't know i had found this realization par top on depop it was eighty dollars and it is originally a hundred and sixty dollars now looking at it definitely the fabric is quite sheer like it basically almost seems like a chiffon but it is a hundred percent silk the material is very soft it's very buttery the chest area i think it is triple lined actually which honestly the bottom of the top being a little sheer i'm really not bothered by if it was a dress maybe i would be but let's try it on i'm a little bit mad about this one because uh I actually really like it, I mean, which is good, obviously. I spent so much money on it. I just was prepared to be like, yep, yeah, not, not worth the hype. No, not at all. What are all these people thinking? Surprisingly, I really like the construction. The only thing I really am so over are tie straps. I used to love them because, you know, the idea of it is very cute. You know, you create a little bow, but I'm over it. Give me a normal strap. Give me an adjustable strap. Trying to make sure that they are even is the most annoying and frustrating thing ever. Maybe it does allow for more chest sizes to like, again, adjust but I hate it so, so much because like this side is higher than that side. But then when I try to adjust this side to then be the same as this side, it's then higher than that side and all that. Even with it being slightly see-through, I feel like you can't even, maybe it's the pattern. It has, you know, all these red hearts on it. I think it's actually really nice. I decided to just style, as you saw, all of these tops, at least with a black skirt, just to kind of like focus on the piece. This makes me want to maybe try one of their dresses, but secondhand. I don't think this is a five out of five, at least for me personally. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Surprisingly, I did not think uh, that I was gonna give it a four out of five, but I would go out of my way to buy a secondhand realization part piece and even if it is still you know expensive i would still get it Alrighty, that went very different than how i thought it was gonna go i was ready to be a hater and if i'm being honest i think i like being a hater as somebody that is quite naturally positive and in most cases doesn't say my opinion being a hater has it's been kind of fun but there were some winners surprisingly let me know in the comments down below what you thought about them and also if you have any experiences with these brands like i said all of these pieces were purchased second hand so if you do like thrifting and secondhand fashion then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time i make a new video and also don't forget to follow me on instagram which is alexandshine83 i'll see you in my next video and i hope you have a super sunny day bye